So you want to know how to do this in Blender and Clow with thick textures, right? Because you follow my previous tutorial and it was incompatible avatar error, etc. I will show you how to do this in Clow and in Blender as well. So first, make sure you have updated your Clow because I'm trying this with version 2025.0 and it worked. So keep that in mind. I've tried with 2024, 2024, something, something, and it didn't work. So it's still a bit iffy, but let's hope this worked this time. So you have your clo updated to the most recent update and let's go. So first, what I will do is just open any project file, any new or whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. We open that. So first, I have fur here applied in fur strand. And I know for a fact in Blender that doesn't work. And I'm not sure will that work. So I'm just going to change material type to just fabric mat and it should work now. Second, we select all the patterns. We scroll down and we check seam face on. Very important step. It didn't work without that on. Second, third step, <laughs> is it third? Um, we go to UV editor and make sure our UVs are correct. Mine are fine. If you, yours are not in one square, make sure you do UV packing and everything is fine. So we close, we close, we can go back to 2D pattern. Now, save this project file <laughs> if something doesn't work for you. So I, you know what, I will go and do that file uh, save project or control shift shift C shift S <laughs> I should know this <laughs> shift S no control S someone help me control S yes <laughs> that's embarrassing anyways we have it saved now we need to export this as our like final or first uh, state so we're gonna go to export OBJ, I'll just override the one I had previously, but we're gonna name it garment or whatever you want just to identify. Yes. So I will deselect the avatars because I don't wanna have the avatar. Single object, thick. I choose to have the UVs, this is fine. Scale. If we do for Blender, I would recommend meters. If for Clo, the default is fine. So I'm just gonna keep on meter meters. We click OK. And we have our first state. Now what we do is we arrange the patterns the way we want, basically. Whatever we feel like it, I will just, for the sake of being quick, I will just move them around a little bit. For example, like that. Maybe these and these and these. We're gonna... Na, 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 na. What I'm doing... We're gonna reset 3D arrangement. Control F. I should remember that. I'm so bad with shortcuts. It's not even funny. Okay, I will just select these two. Shuffle them around a little bit. These may be a bit more like that. Honestly, it's not, doesn't really matter now. It's just to show you how to achieve this. Should we do this like that? So you could see all the patterns. Maybe these as 3D arrangement. Do you have a bit more movement? This one like that. Yeah, I think uh, I'm not 
not really happy with this stupefy so we're gonna do reset to the arrangement and then we're gonna do this make sure you don't change any mesh so in 2d window do not add anything do not change anything that's exactly how we want the file just arrange don't touch anything for blender you can simulate i'm not sure about the flow though so, okay so now we're gonna need to save this as a second state so we're gonna file export obj as patterns because this save overwrite again all patterns no avatar single thick same meters make sure it's everything is the same and it takes uh, two seconds maybe less okay now we need a new project file so now i first will do that in close and then i'm gonna go into blender so file new project i'm not gonna save this hopefully i will need to redo that should i save that no i will regret that though okay so we're gonna go to file import obj and first i will import the garmin it doesn't matter which one you import i think usually open avatar meters because we uh, export it as meters if it was default you should have it as default here nothing has to be changed here okay if it looks like that don't get scared <laughs> even though it looks scary just click here uh, quality render and you it's gonna go back to normal let's say so okay we have our first obj file import add that's very important you just want to add not completely override everything so import add obj second one so for me it's patterns for you it could be other way around now we're gonna change here so as in the previous tutorial if you've seen that avatar morph target meters don't change anything here 90 is enough okay so we're gonna go and just click ok voila <laughs> honestly the first time it worked i was like because i've tried so many times and it did not work it did not work it did not work and it worked this time uh so if we go to animation animator animation editor and here if we scroll it moves to be fair the only thing i don't like about this now i is all these shadows it looks like normal map though right if we yeah because the mesh is actually so just the normal map um so maybe hmm, i'm thinking we should have exported other way around but it, it really doesn't matter i think i'm fine with this um and for example if we just delete the maps let's just try okay now it's still still oh why there is like it's a bit hmm because i don't think it should be here all the wrinkles hmm i need to investigate that i'm not fully 100 percent happy but i think yeah that's kind of i guess the closest as i could get for now so that's it we can whoop 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 do this right and it works now we can go to blender and i'll show you how to do that in blender so here i have my 360 scene um i have this a template i can show you how to create one 
someday, not today. Or you can maybe purchase if you want. I maybe add the link. I'll think about it. <laughs> Don't. I'm not promising you anything so far. So we're gonna go to garment uh, folder I have here. And we're just gonna import both of the OBJs. You can do one by one or you can do both at the same time. It doesn't change the outcome, the results. So we have both, both files. It's interesting because here the patterns look perfectly fine for now. Okay, so we're gonna select the patterns now or the garment you choose. I'm gonna try with patterns. We're gonna go to vert object data properties and in the shape keys we're just gonna click on plus and the base shape key will be created now we're gonna select our second state holding shift and we're gonna go so now both of them are highlighted we're gonna go and click on this arrow here and gonna click join as shapes and if everything is set, set correctly it you should not receive any error before that when i was testing this workflow again because something wasn't working if i was exporting a thick texture the obj but did not click on seam face on remember at the beginning it would i would get an error message if i was exporting as thin it was fine, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think so. So never mind. Now we can simply hide one of the states because we don't need that in the window anymore. So the one that doesn't have any shape keys, we're just going to hide it from the window. So we are left with the patterns and it has these two shape keys. If we click on the garment shape key, scroll to, for example, frame one and we're gonna put game keyframe <laughs> with value zero so we're just gonna click on this here so that's a zero we're gonna scroll i have the camera lens as you can see it moves moving so we're gonna go let's say 200 frames and now we're gonna change this to one and click on add new key shape so yeah that's it that's very quick and easy um i'll just go back quickly in Clow and try to solve the issue with the pattern shading i wonder if it's because we have exported imported pattern garment first and morphed target into the garments so i'm just gonna delete this or start a new project I'm gonna file import obj and we're gonna go patterns first open avatar blah 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 okay okay yeah they look perfectly fine now so we're gonna file import add obj garments now open object type as morph morph target everything is the same add okay and yeah voila <laughs> i just solved the issue so it's been a good successful day so i hope everything works for you as well let me know uh, leave me a comment if there is still some issues hopefully i can help you to sort it out uh, best case scenario everything will work smoothly for you as well now and we can all enjoy this animation bye